Alright, so this is going to be another movie review. This one's called Cloistered Nun, Runa's Confession. Uh, Runa is a really, really hot Eurasian singer babe. Um, she plays the nun in this. Uh, this is a nun, nunsploitation pink movie from Japan. Uh, kind of reminded me of um, Dark Habits by Pedro Amaldovar. Um, the dude from Spain. I guess that was uh, Pedro's first movie. And uh, this one sort of follows a similar theme. It's about a, a um, Eurasian girl, Runa, who... Um, who has an equally hot on the uh, hot o meter uh, half sister her uh, she's full bred Japanese her half sister and uh, this woman her half sister is uh, hairy in the armpits and the legs if you know what I mean and um, the director of this one definitely has a uh, her suit hairy uh, body fetish uh, I guess from watching too many uh, I Italian movies from the 50s and 60s with the uh, even more hairy, uh, dark haired armpits in those movies. Um, yeah, directors like that just uh, have, have weird fetishes and uh, so do I. <laughs> anyway, um, Getting back to the story, um, this one's about a, uh, a nun who's a full-bred Japanese half-sister uh, steals her boyfriend, I guess. So she becomes a nun, and um, then she comes back a few few weeks later and um, to get revenge. Um, a few years later, I mean not a few weeks later um, so she hatches uh, this land scheme and she steals her, um, her ex-boyfriend's money uh, meanwhile she gets raped by the rector and um, she has a lesbian foo relationship with another nun at the rectory um, so that was cool there's a lot of uh, cool sex scenes in this uh, there's even a, there's an even more hot um, Japanese woman. Uh, she sort of pops up unexplained, and she helps um, the nun hatch her revenge play against her half sister by uh, exposing all the boyfriends to her half sister. Um, so there's a lesbian foo scene. There's a bunch of rape scenes. There's um, an orgy scene. There's three way sex. Everything you can imagine is in this. Uh, you just can't see the genitals, of course. It's all covered up, uh, cleverly censored by the uh, camera work and the director work. Um, but that's not the fault of the director. I mean, uh, he had to comply with Japanese censor boards. Um, so he made it about as sexy as possible under the circumstances. Um, and like I said, the uh, Japanese half-sister is the most extremely beautiful woman that I've ever seen in a film. So you don't really have to see her genitals to recognize that she's a beautiful woman. Uh, she's got smaller nipples than her uh, Japanese counterpart in this. Uh, for some reason, there's a woman that just comes out of nowhere unexplained and uh, shows all of... Uh, her boyfriends that uh, she's a scam artist um, so the nun takes advantage of this and she um, I guess she's half German half Japanese her dad is Japanese or something and um, she takes advantage of uh, her half sister her half sister's greediness and her boy ex-boyfriend's greediness um, my son's banging on the door. I guess he needs to change his diaper. Anyway, um, I give this film five stars, and um, I thought it was a great movie. I thought it was the best uh, of the, out of all the uh, pink movies. Um, so, 
that's about all I have to say about this. Uh, there's a cool revenge plot, and uh, you don't know about it until the very end. Um, so cool. I'll, um, I I don't know why I have to change my son's diaper when I'm doing bone therapy, and I've got 11 minutes left on this thing. Anyway, uh, that's family life for you. Um, so, uh, what else was I going to say? Um, that's it! That's yeah, that's my son yelling to change his diaper, but I can't do it right now. Um, so, cool. Uh, check out the movie. It's available on Netflix. Uh, it's not on instant streaming, unfortunately, so uh, you have to order it on DVD, but um, definitely one of the best... Um, pink movies that I've ever seen uh, like I say if you're into uh, hairy women uh, women who don't shape their bodies uh, you're gonna love this and uh, if you're a lesbian you're gonna like it too because it has a that lesbian revenge plot which is cool um, so yeah I love this movie um, my son's really bugging me but I, I can't do anything because I'm tied up to this bone therapy on my foot. I broke my foot working at uh, Home Depot and then they replaced me. Isn't that nice? Uh, this is what you do when you're age 41. You, you get a uh, $12 an hour job then you uh, then you have to tie up a bone therapy to your foot and then you have to listen to your son, your two-year-old son screaming to change his diaper. Um, so I better go. Laters. Have a good night. Bye-bye.